Hey everybody, welcome back. So as promised, uh, today we're going to talk about the uh, steering stem installation, the uh, uh, head bearing installation, and the uh, triple clamp. And so just to kind of briefly go over everything here, um, I have gone ahead and cleaned up and polished the, uh, the steering uh, stem. And basically on a CBX, these are raw uh, billet aluminum. So I just went ahead and uh, I use a, a brass brush like this. And then I use a uh, Scotch-Brite to kind of brighten it up all over the place. So um, turned out pretty good considering that this bike was really in bad condition. It was very corroded. Um, anyway, it, it came out really, really nice. And I've got a couple of uh, brand new bolts there, uh, original Honda bolts for the, uh, that's for the, uh, uh, the brake system. And then on the uh, triple clamp, uh, I just kind of scotch brighted it and then repainted it with uh, semi-gloss paint and just as it was from the factory so that's looking really nice and then you know I also clean all of the uh, races I kind of scotch bright those to get them all nice and smooth again and then um, I wire brush all of the uh, triple clamp uh, bolts and washers and so on so now on the uh, head bearings, you know, you have two options. You can get the original Honda or K&L makes a set as well. Now the K&L set is fairly expensive, but so are the Honda ones. So, and they're pretty much equal quality. Um, on this bike, I'm gonna go ahead and put the K&Ls in there because they come with the, uh, the new um, dust shield which is right here, whereas the Honda ones don't come with that and you have to order them separately. So uh, it's kind of nice having a brand new one of those. So then uh, I'll show you the races on the, um, on the frame. So here's the frame I have all set up to install the, uh, the bearing races. And it's pretty simple to install the races. You know, you just kind of scotch bright in here, get them, get them cleaned up of any corrosion or deposits or, you know, leftover uh, material that was left from the old races that you took out. And then um, the race goes in there pretty easily. And then I just use a piece of, piece of flat wood and I just kind of tap the race in there and I put a little grease on on there first so I'll show you how to do that and then to install the bottom bearing on the steering stem I brought my heavy-duty vise and put it down on the concrete floor because I've got a nice solid surface there and I put the old bearing on here And then basically you take the, the steering stem with the, with the new bearing on it and you just kind of bring it down and then hammer it in place. And again, I use a piece of wood to get it uh, so that it goes down evenly. And, uh, and then I also, I also put heavy grease around the, uh, the mating surface as well as the inside of the new bearing. So I will now get started uh, installing all of that as I just explained and we'll see how it goes. So I'm starting with the bottom uh, bearing and as you can see I have the race all cleaned up with the Scotch-Brite ready to go and now I have applied the bearing with the grease and I take my piece of wood and I just gently tap all the way around 
checking on it periodically to make sure it's going in there straight. You want it to go in perfectly straight and you want to bring it down flush with the edge of the frame. Just kind of make sure it's flush all the way around. And then I take a, an inch and five eighths socket and I use that and drive the, the race down the rest of the way until it seats in its spot. Then I add a little grease, just general purpose grease. I'm using Valvoline general purpose grease. And I put a little grease on the, on the race itself and I just kind of place the race in its spot. And then I take my piece of wood and I gently tap it. This is on the top portion, by the way, the top bearing. Then on the on the uh, the lower bearing on the steering stem, as I mentioned before, I take the stem and I add a little grease to it, and I add some grease to the actual bearing itself. And this is for guys who don't have a an actual press. Really, the best way to install these lower bearings is with an actual press. But um, I'm kind of showing it this way because I know most guys don't have presses. So this is, this is another effective way of doing it. You just kind of want to get the, the, uh, the lower bearing started in its position. So this is the dust shield you put on first, kind of doing everything upside down. And you just lower the stem down. And I'm using the old bearing uh, to rest the new bearing on. And you just kind of want to make sure everything is level so that it, it starts evenly. Then I just lightly tap it with a heavy hammer just to kind of get it started. That's all you really want to do is get it started. And once it's started evenly, then you can use a piece of wood and hit it a little bit harder to, to kind of get it started. Then once you've got it started, as you can see, it's not all the way seated yet. You can put it up into the, into the uh, head, into the steering neck, and take the, uh, the stem cap with a couple of washers and your nut, and you can try to drive the bearing down by tightening the uh, spanner nut at the top. Now, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. In my case, it did not drive it all the way, you know, seated. So uh, I turned it as much as I could to, to bring it up as far as I could. And then I just used the heavy hammer and I kind of tapped it the rest of the way in place. But like I said, some sometimes the uh, doing this method will drive the bearing down into its seated 
look, you know, position. But like I said, in my case, I had to actually uh, use a hammer and tap it, you know, tap it from below to get the bearing to, to uh, go the rest of the way down. So once you've got that lower bearing in place, then you go ahead and add a liberal amount of grease on the uh, on the ra on the race. The more, the better, and then you just load up the the bearing with grease as well. You can't have too much on there. And you just put it up in position. And then take your upper bearing and lower it down into the race. And again, I've loaded the race up with, with grease. And then put your head cap, screw your head cap on. Now the manual says that you torque this head cap down 20 to 30 pounds and then you loosen it back up and you just hand tight it, tighten it very, very lightly. And the reason you torque it down to 20, 30 pounds, because you want to make sure that the, uh, that the bearings are seated and the races are seated properly and so on. So then, again, once you've torqued it to 20 or 30 pounds, then you back off, you loosen it back, and then you just very lightly uh, tighten it by hand. And we're talking less than a pound. So then you apply your, your triple clamp. And put, put your nut on. And you torque that nut down to whatever the... Uh, shop manual spec is and then in order to to check your your uh cap you tighten it to the point where the the stem you know your triple tree stays in place you keep adjusting it and wherever you put it it stays in place until it gets to a point where it just very very slowly goes just like that then you know you've got it tightened properly so that's going to be it for this video now that we've got the triple tree and the the stem the the uh uh triple clamp and the and your steering stem and your bearings all uh installed properly now we're ready to uh Attach, you know, to rebuild the uh, forks. In the next video, I'll be re rebuilding the forks, putting new fork seals in it, and uh, and getting the forks prepared to install into the triple tree, and then we can install the frame back onto the engine. So uh, stay tuned for that next video. And again, please like and share and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.